In this video, we'll cover the basics of using the WordPress block editor. You'll get familiar with the layout, learn how to add images, text, and CTA buttons, embed videos, and customize everything step by step. It's a simple, no fills guide to help you create a website in no time. So let's get started. First, open the WordPress dashboard, then go to pages and add new page. Now you're in the WordPress block editor. The first block that you'll see by default is the title block. This is where you write the title of the page. For example, since we are creating websites home page, I'll write home page. Now, if you want to hide it, just click here. Now that you know how to open the WordPress block editor, I'll show you how to create a hero section of a website. But before that, whenever I'm doing some design work for clients, I make sure to install this free plugin Airlift because, okay, let me actually show you this. So that's my site speed before and that's after. It does a lot of optimizations automatically and keeps stuff fast. So you should definitely try this and I'll leave the link in the description below. I'll show you how to create a hero section of a website. It has an eye-catching image or video, a persuasive copy and a call to action button. Okay, let's suppose I want to create a hero section for a gym website. For that, I need to add an image in the hero section. So I'll click the plus button here and on the left side, I'll search for image. Let's click here to add an image block on a web page. Now you can upload an image from your computer or the media library. I'll choose the media library and from here, I'll select this image. On the right side, you will see settings for this image under block. Here, you can change the image's dimensions, aspect ratio, and resolution. Now, if I click the image, you'll see a few options on the top. Under the line option, select full width to have the image cover the web page's entire width. Next, click add text over image. This allows you to add a text block over the image. I'll click the plus button here and select heading. Since it's a gym membership website, I'll write something like this. You can change the color of the text and background in the block settings section. You can also play around with typography, dimensions, and margins here. Similarly, I'll add another heading block for a subheading and a paragraph block for a description. Once done, it should look something like this. Once you're happy with the text in the hero section, it's time to add a CTA button. Click the plus sign here and search for buttons. Once the button is added, go here to change the text. To move the button on the right side, I'll click the change item justification and select justify items right. You can add a link to this CTA button. Just go here and add your URL. You can link it to a contact page that has your contact details. To add another button, click three dots here and select duplicate. Now I have another CTA button with the same settings. I'll change its text to read more. And from here, I'll change the URL. There you go. The website's hero section is ready. To check how it looks on the website, just click here and then here like this. Looks good to me. Now let's create an about a section to tell customers about the business and the people running it. Don't worry, it's very simple. For this, I'll create two columns, one for adding a description and another for embedding a YouTube video. Click the plus button under the hero section and search for container. Once you click the container button, you will be asked to choose the container layout. Since I only need two columns, I'll pick this one. Let's add a heading and a paragraph blocks in the first column like this. I'll change the text, background color, padding and other settings from here. Now to add a YouTube video in the second column, click the plus sign here and look for YouTube. Now go here and add a YouTube's URL and then click embed. Awesome. Let's click preview in new tab here to see how the about us section looks. Hmm, looks fine to me. Now that you know how to create a website's hero and about us sections, it's time to add an image carousel that automatically shows a series of images. It's a cool feature that allows you to show your products and services to your customers. Imagine, I want to show the boxing gym's photos on the website's homepage. First, I'll click the plus button and search for container. In that container, I'll add an image gallery block. Then, I'll upload the photos like this. Once done, I'll go to the block settings panel under general tab, select the layout as carousel. If I want the photos to open in a pop-up window when someone clicks on it, I'll select light box in click event. If I want, I can change the carousel settings here. 
as you can see the photos are moving automatically one after the other just like a carousel okay so let's preview it i'll click here hmm looks fine and now if i click on a photo it opens up like this pretty cool right comment below if you have any questions and i'll help you out click this video if you want to triple your size speed in just one minute you're really going to thank me for this so click here and i'll see you there